Hey everybody, I have some good news and some bad news. And, or should I say just some frustrating news for me anyway. Hi, yes. First thing, judging by the background and the, oh, the echo in here, we finally moved to a new apartment. Finally, finally, finally. It's only taken like three or four months of endlessly searching for apartments. Anyway, we finally got this one and as you can see, it's a bit of a nightmare fuck in here still. There's just boxes and shit everywhere and So that's the good news. The good news is we've gone from living in a tiny 21 square meter one room apartment with two people to a place that is like three times bigger and it has a balcony. Sorry, I'm really excited that it has a balcony and a bathtub. Oh, I'm so pleased. Bad news is, and it's quite bad, is that we won't have any internet here for at least three weeks. I okay, so this was this was something I found out yesterday immediately after waking up, and I, I was like, okay, I'm calm. I'm not going to have a panic attack right now. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to manage to keep uploading my videos. I'm I've got a plan, but I don't think it's a very good plan, but I'm gonna do my fucking Best. I thought I should definitely let you all know that no internet for three or four weeks three weeks if they do it quickly Yes, it's ridiculous. They said they can't make it go any faster So if I'm not on Facebook or Tumblr or Instagram or anything like Hardly like at all or hardly at all and before anyone suggests that I get like mobile internet or put more Data onto a mobile plan or go hang out in an internet cafe or Starbucks or something like that's not enough to upload YouTube videos That's not enough. It takes hours and hours to upload one video and quite a lot of Power, you know, it takes a lot of You know megabytes and shit. It takes a lot of, of that internet I've got a plan. I don't know how well it'll work, but we'll see. You know, um, I've read a few self-help books over the years and one of the things I remember reading was... What the fuck is that cat doing? Oh my god. I've read quite a few self-help books over the years and one of the things that I remember reading was there are no problems. There are only opportunities. Every problem that you have, try and see it as an opportunity. And you know, that's really easier said than done. But for me, this is going to be an opportunity I don't know. I don't really know. I guess for me it'll be a challenge to see how productive I can be and how resourceful I can be. God. <laughs> Three weeks. <laughs> so I guess there's not much to show you at the moment with this new apartment. As you can see, it's all just a little bit empty. Um, I'm, I have been living out of a bag since May, so that's a long time. Nearly nine months. I've been living out of this purple bag in the corner over there, I've been living out of that bag for nine months. Yes. And I am very ready for that to change. My stuff gets here all the way from New Zealand in just under two weeks from now. Fuck, I can't wait. It means I'll be able to make videos better. I will have my computer back, so I'll be able to have my better editing software again. Yay. And hopefully won't like suffocate and break down all the time like my little laptop does. I've been doing all my work, like all my editing and all my YouTube stuff and everything else that I do all on this little MacBook Air. It's not very powerful, you know, it's a good laptop, but it's, it, it's been making it really hard, so it's been a really big challenge. Anyway, so I'll show you around a bit and I'll tell you a little bit about the joys of getting a new apartment in Germany because, it's, well, I thought it was extremely weird. A few years ago, a friend of mine moved to Berlin and when he got to his new apartment, he was like, wow, the people who lived here last, like, literally took everything when they left. Lights, the light fittings, they took the wallpaper, they took everything, and he was like, wow, that's a bit crazy. And I was like, what the fuck, that's nuts. Turns out that's just normal. So if you join me in looking at the ceiling, here we go, there's a ceiling and that is a light fitting. It is like that in every room. There are no lights. There are no lights in this whole place. There is a light in the hallway and a light in the bathroom, but there is no light in the bedroom or the living room or the kitchen. Speaking of the kitchen, there is no kitchen. There is no kitchen at all. <laughs> ah, what we do have though is, remember that cat that I found? We brought him with us. For those of you who don't know the story, this is Thanatos and we found him the day before Halloween and he was just like a stray cat 
they were so friendly and so we're really talking with us and we're going to try and give him a better life he's cool cat say hi say hello anyway where was i in germany it is quite normal to take your kitchen with you when you leave so here we have the fittings for a sink but no sink no bench we have no fridge uh nothing the other thing is uh, everybody must paint their walls white before leaving their apartment so that it is fresh and new for the new tenants oh look at that lovely sunshine yes you have to paint the walls white what that means is that the new tenants can do anything they like with the walls basically that means we get to put up wallpaper and it means also that i finally get to achieve my dream of having a black room or three <laughs> yeah so we're going to actually do this place up I guess. Oh yeah, you probably notice as well that we have like no furniture, there's just boxes everywhere. We don't have a couch, we don't have any chairs. You can see there's a chair there but like that's broken so that's cool. So of course I will share with you guys the process of doing this place up because I'm really fucking excited because I've never been able to do that before. Aww. So echoey, it's so weird being in a room without furniture. Aww. God, we've really got nothing. We have no kitchen, no fridge, no washing machine, no furniture, no lights. No internet, yay! But at least we can move now, because that was shitty. The tiny one room apartment was shitty. There's something you don't really need to know, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. When we took the furniture out of the old apartment, there was so much mold on the walls, like green and black mold hiding behind things. We'd noticed that there was like a bit of mold around one of the windows, but we had no idea how bad it was. It was like hiding and it just looked like a fucking swamp. It was so bad. And like over the last few months, I've been sick like three or four times. And for me, that's quite unusual. And also like my skin has been so bad lately. I've had like more spots than I've ever had in my whole life. And like when I said that I wanted skin like a teenager, that's not what I meant. Interestingly, just being away from there for like three days, it's actually much better like it's nearly completely cleared up turns out that quite possibly bad skin has a lot to do with your environment so i just wanted to show you guys the new situation and tell you that there is so much fucking potential in this place soon i'll have all my stuff back so i'll have my wardrobe back and all my other boots and things and oh thank god i'll have my perfume collection back oh my jewelry and everything but mainly i just wanted to say no internet for at least three weeks sweet freaking fuck i'll get online as often as i can but fuck it's gonna be such a challenge wish me luck i will be online with you guys as often as i possibly can if you have yet to do so and you would like to keep up with stuff which of course you would because that makes you cool please subscribe to my channel right now i make at least two videos every week it's going to be much much harder over the next month but i'll be trying my absolute bloody hardest to see an opportunity out of this problem so until next time as always take care of yourselves be nice to each other i hope this isn't echoing too much because it really really sounds like it is and uh, i will see you next time bye